all the way from Texas, the very funny Steve McGrew. flight over here. We were delayed three and a half hours. They loaded the plane and the captain did one of those. I don't know why they talk to you. You can't understand a damn thing they say. They could cuss at you and you wouldn't even know it. If you look out over to the right, you can kiss my butt above the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I hate to fly. People go, don't worry, it's safer than driving. I don't know if my engine stalls, I don't fall out of the sky, do I? <laughs> I just kind of coast my butt to the side of the road and wear the battery down. <laughs> There's a sound you don't want to hear in the air, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, your stewardess is there. Your stewardess will show you all the safety information you need to know. She showed me how to use a seatbelt. Where's my parachute? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't know about you people, but I would just as soon jump out of that thing as to ride it down strapped to a bomb. <laughs> it blows up when it hits the ground. Oh, let me tighten this up. <laughs> I would jump out and flap my arms first. But <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> You never know, you might get lucky, you know? We're here at the crash scene where everybody died except one man flapped his ass to safety. <laughs> and then they'd cut to that one guy. He did, I seen it, you know. <laughs> There's always an I seen it guy. I seen it, I, I stand there scratching my ass, I looked up. I slapped a hot dog out of my wife's mouth. I, You ever see those people on TV and wish you could hit them? You ever watch TV and wish you could actually hit somebody on TV? <laughs> people that never move, you know, there's a disaster. You know, this, this is the 15th time the river has washed away our home. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, we're gonna rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> you ever sit next to somebody on an airplane that wants to talk and doesn't get the hint, you don't care? Huh? Man. I was giving her all the best faces, you know. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and then I had a hysterectomy. <laughs> That's a little more information than I needed to know. <laughs> she just rambled. Then she touched me. She shouldn't have touched me. That's, you know. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going back to London. Finally turned myself in. <laughs> She's pretty quiet for the rest of the flight. <laughs> I hope she had that diaper on, because she made a noise. <laughs> oh, yeah, she fired a shot, man. It was bad. My wife and I, it was, it was, we watched it drift up the plane. Well, you couldn't see it, but you could tell when it hit a new row. <laughs> And then the row behind them would go, ah! Oh. <laughs> Man, you ever been on a plane with somebody farts? Ain't a damn thing you can do about it, is it? You just have to sit there and act like you don't notice, don't you? Because it's not polite to go, hey! <laughs> oh, you're just strapped in, breathing butt air. <laughs> Bad. You know it's bad when a guy goes, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't know bad. <laughs> uh, I, like, I like being married. I brought my wife over here. Uh, men do need to be married. You ladies, you're the best thing ever happened to us. And I'm not sucking up, I believe it. See, I think women are the other half of our brain. That's why God meant us to be together. Men come up with goofy ideas, women will think about it, tell you no, and save your life. 
Yeah. When's the last time you heard about a married man dying in a bungee jumping accident? <laughs> Run that past your woman. Honey, I'm gonna get drunk and jump off a bridge with a rubber band tied to my foot. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, that's why God made man and woe man. Whoa, man, no. <laughs> like being married. I just don't like to fight. If you're married, you have to fight. It's a rule, isn't it? See, I think you ladies have questions designed for no other reason but to start a fight. Does this dress make my hips look wide? Why don't you just kick me in the stomach and get this over with? <laughs> Does this maybe look fat? It's a hat. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> I hate to fight, man. I figured out time to stay away from each other if you don't want to have a fight. Stay away from each other any time either one of y'all comes home from a hair salon. That's a, men really don't care, but you ladies, y'all have never come home happy from a hair salon. You hear that door? <laughs> this is not what I asked for. <laughs> oh, man, where's my car keys? I'm getting out of the house. Don't run! Look what she did to my hair! Don't smile at me! It's not funny. I have to live with this. You have to live with it. I have to live with you. I'll go slap that bitch for you. <laughs> you ladies be getting some better haircuts. There were some men kicking open some doors. Man, who messed up my wife's hair? <laughs> and don't go to a video store together. Y'all already figured that out? That's a fight waiting to happen, isn't it? My wife will tap me. Why don't we stop and get a movie? Why don't I just put a pistol in my mouth? <laughs> You're never picking out the same tape. Sure, you walk in together, but you park quicker than a hooker's legs, don't you? <laughs> She's heading for Disney, you know. You're going for porno, you know. <laughs> I want a love story. I'm pretty sure this is a love story. <laughs> How about dying young? How about coming early? <laughs> I hate I hate when you say the wrong thing and you know you said the wrong thing. You ever been, you ever been talking and say it and you go, oh man, I hope she didn't hear it. <laughs> You know it as soon as it comes off, too, man. I was watching Baywatch the other night. There's a fight waiting to happen. <laughs> My wife goes, you think she's pretty, don't you? <laughs> okay, what's the right answer on that one? <laughs> Those are fake. I could look like that with fake breasts. Really? How much are fake breasts? <laughs> you guys have been a great crowd. Enjoyed it.